Hello and welcome to another complete Cambridge IGCSE biology lesson where you'll learn absolutely everything you need to know on topic 12.2 aerobic and anaerobic respiration. As always we'll be following the Cambridge syllabus exactly and we'll cover absolutely everything you need to know for your final exam. For topic 12.2 you need to describe and state the word equation for aerobic respiration and describe and state the word equation for anaerobic respiration in yeast and muscle cells. For extended you also need to state the balanced chemical equations and explain how oxygen debt is removed after exercise. In our last lesson, we learned about respiration, the process from which all living organisms derive their energy. There are two types of respiration that you need to know about, aerobic and anaerobic. Aerobic respiration is the term for the chemical reactions in cells that use oxygen to break down nutrient molecules to release energy. Glucose reacts with oxygen, releasing carbon dioxide, water and energy, which can be used to drive other reactions in the cell. Now for extended, you also need to know the balanced chemical equation for aerobic respiration. So C6H12O6, that's glucose, plus 6O2, that's six oxygen molecules, produce six CO2 and six H2O. This equation is balanced as the same elements, carbon, hydrogen and oxygen, are present on both sides and in the same quantities. Anaerobic respiration is the term for the chemical reactions in cells that break down nutrient molecules to release energy without using oxygen. It's a less efficient process than aerobic respiration because it releases much less energy per molecule of glucose, over 20 times less in fact. Anaerobic respiration occurs in yeast cells and muscle cells during vigorous exercise. In yeast, glucose is converted to carbon dioxide, alcohol and of course energy. In the production of beer and other alcoholic drinks, yeast is added to a sugary solution made from hops and grains. It converts some of the sugars to alcohol and also releases carbon dioxide, which is what makes the drinks fizzy. The balanced chemical equation for anaerobic respiration in yeast, which you only need to know for extended, is C6H12O6 produces two C2H5OH, that's two alcohol molecules, and two CO2. During high intensity exercise, oxygen cannot be delivered quickly enough for the muscle cells to respire aerobically, so anaerobic respiration makes up the deficit. Anaerobic respiration converts glucose to lactic acid, which accumulates in the muscle cells and blood. This causes discomfort and muscle fatigue, leading to a reduction in intensity or the need to stop and rest. Only when resting can sufficient oxygen be delivered to break down the lactic acid and for the muscles to regain their function. Lactic acid is broken down into carbon dioxide and water by aerobic respiration in the liver. Now the oxygen required to break down the accrued lactic acid is termed the oxygen debt. In order to repay this debt, after a period of high intensity exercise, heart rate remains elevated for some time. This increases the rate at which lactic acid is transported in the blood from the muscles to the liver where it's oxidized. Breathing rate and depth also remain elevated for some time after exercise. This provides the additional oxygen required for the aerobic respiration of lactic acid in the liver. Well done, you've just covered absolutely everything you need to know on topic 12.2, aerobic and anaerobic respiration. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate your subscription and I'll see you next time for topic 13.1, excretion in humans.